Hello. Um, today I wanted to do a, just uh, a quick video. I bought a thermal uh, camera. They allows me to uh, check the temperature uh, of uh, uh, what you're um, uh, targeting. And um, right now um, I turn on the Manta uh, Manta 8 board. So I was curious to see what's the temperature of this uh, board, uh, the CB1 chip, and uh, the the actual uh, MCU on the Manta M8P. Um, so I don't have any load. So this is like a, a base uh, measurement, let's say. I just have the uh, CB1 installed with the heatsink. Uh, the temp the power is through USB with the with the jumper and Ethernet attached. So I don't have any power attached, no drivers, uh, no temperature sensor, and any uh, any other sensor. So let's see what the temperature that. So I'm looking at the uh, the heat sink of the CB1. And it's around 41, 42 Celsius, give or take. Uh, let's see if I move a little bit. Okay, it's not so clear, but the violet thing is the MCU. And if I jump here, there is the LED, so nothing more uh, and here uh, the line on the let's see if I can focus okay great okay so he think the line on the left are the uh, uh, it's where you attach the power to the drivers to the board and to the to the um, heat bed, so but it's pretty cold. Um, so the temperature there it's 24, 24, 25. Uh, so it's interesting. So there is no load. So it's going to be interesting to see what is the load. Um, what is the temperature when I'm loading? Uh, so the CB1 does some computing and the MCU uh, does some computing. So basically this is the baseline of temperature um, with the board doing nothing. Which is which is good. So I have I know uh, what to expect uh, as a baseline. Uh, plus I'm going to be using two uh, pallet extruder with induction heating. So it's important for me to understand how uh, the temperature varies in this uh, systems and also for the wiring which is important and, uh, because uh, induction heating will have um, high amperage. I'm not sure how much, probably around 15-20 amps uh, at 24 or uh, 24 volt or 12 volt, depending on the, the MOSFET that I'm going to be using. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the temperature uh, varies in the extruders. So this device, I bought it like a week ago. I arrived a week ago and I paid only 100 bucks. I think it was on discount on the AliExpress. I'm going to put a link on the description so you can check it out if you're interested. Uh, and it was, uh, it, it is uh, highly discounted right now. So it's it's cool because um, okay here, well you can record the 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 uh, temperature reading, and it's going to save it to a, a memory card here. It comes with a memory card, and here has a USB uh, micro. Uh, charging so there is no battery to swap but you 
recharge it via uh, USB, uh, USB, micro USB. The memory card is there, and you can just save, has the option to save uh, what you're reading, which is cool. So you, if you make videos or you want to keep track of what uh, the reading is. So, um, hope you liked the video. Uh, please leave a, a like, a comment if you have any, and share the video and subscribe to the channel. We're having uh, more videos coming in since uh, uh, I bought a bunch of stuff for the new 3D printer, a bunch of new stuff uh, since I need to upgrade the 3D printer. Okay, thank you and I'll see you next video. Bye.